I can say Ghana will win, but other other teams are also preparing. I know, right? Yeah, so <laughs> it's a it's a it's a tough one. Yeah. And I believe when we do our things right, prepare the mindset of the players. The players must have a winning mentality. Hello and welcome to another edition of Sports Check with me, Patricia Roxon Hammond. Today, I'm at the Savannah region um, with John Painsel. He's here actually to scout for local players for his, okay, let's say he's, he's scouting for talent for his team and he's going to tell us all about it and some issues in the sports fraternity. Welcome. Thank you. It's glad to see you in person. Thank you very much. Yeah. And so, thanks for having me. You're welcome. So tell us about your program, scouting for talent, for your team. How many people are you looking at? Are you looking for, like, is it just going to be the Savannah region or you're going to travel to the other 16 regions? Uh, I think, uh, thanks for your question. Uh, it's a program that I've started since 2020. Okay. Uh, say three years, three years now. now. Yeah. yeah. And I started it from uh, Georgia. Volta region, and I did one two at uh, Faja to South, and also Sugakope, and then I did uh, one at uh, Kwando. Uh, so last year I was here. Um, this program that uh, we are seeing today is a program that uh, PBA, uh, Bui Power Authority, uh, come together with John Pinto Football Club, John Pinto Football Academy to enhance their hands, uh, to support the young players, uh, give them freedom. Mm -hmm. Because looking at this place, some players think that, um, looking at John Painter, looking at Mike Asian, Sule Muntari, John Mesa, Asamwejan, how did they make it? And they feel like they are so far from us. Yeah. And that brings my, my mind to remember that uh, I was also scout and then picked from Brikum. And when I was playing for Bekuma Snaz, oh, okay. by may so rest in peace, uh, Coach Ike Afrani. Oh, okay. So he was doing more of a scouting. Uh, that's where I was discovered. Muntari was discovered at the same time. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, so uh, myself and Muntari used to play for the school, Tarijinas. We were playing Borga. Then we were discovered. Hmm. So the first phase was to play for Ghana Academicals. So until you go out to scout, you will not get the talent. There are a lot of talent out there, you people. There's a lot of uh, talent players hidden somewhere. Hidden, There's yeah. a lot of uh, Asamoyans, a lot of John Painso, a lot of John Mesa, uh, Marquesian, hidden somewhere. I can even say even more. More. More so, better. So the more you scout, is the more you get the, the, the quality. Discover them, For yeah. me, I don't believe in the quantity, but I believe in quality. So when I got close to uh, BPA, uh, we Power Authority, uh, the CEO was the one that uh, I worked with him previously when I did my first one in Georgia. He was then uh, a uh, member of uh, parliament, a uh, minister for uh, Chief Tansi. So I went to do that and then he had many players to to travel to come to Accra and most of them have also get the opportunity to play there. Mm -hmm. the big clubs in Accra. Oh, that's nice. And some have also travel and then they are back. So when you become the CEO for uh, Bui Power Authority, uh, he also said, I mean, since he's the CEO here, he wants to also give back to the, the community, yeah. the society. So we had that program. First program was last year. And it's a program that we're going to do every year. So we played the community cup, 16 uh, community teams, and then we played the final. So there's a donation, footballs, jerseys, medals. So at the end of the day, we'll pick the fantastic five that will join John Penty football team. Out of the three years scout? No, every year we pick five. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, every, okay. Year, every year we pick five, five fantastic five. Uh, we are looking at the age of 15 to 19, okay. but we want to catch them young. So we mostly focusing on the under 15, the, because under 15 give them four years, they will mature and become 
great players and represent Ghana or any uh, big clubs in Europe or okay. in our okay. local. Not necessarily the national team, but it's going to be your personal Yes, it's, it's yeah. personal and then being my personal will definitely become the national assets uh, in Someday, future. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the idea is to give the young players a uh, chance, give them freedom to, to play and also to showcase their talent. We want to tell them that wherever they find themselves and see us on top, they can easily become as us one day. Yeah. So normally what we do is that after selecting the whole players, uh, last year was around, was almost uh, 150 players. Wow. Then we have to cut, cut it, down. it down to 60, then train them, cut them to 25. So that 25 will play against the ex Black Stars players, including myself. Last year was Bufurikwe, uh, uh, Patrick Villas, Isaac Bossa, Memunatu, Suleiman. So we bring all these uh, players to come and play with the young boys for them to also feel like, okay, it's John Painting that's on TV. How, how, how is it like playing with them? Obviously, some will be starstruck. So when they see you coming, like kicking the ball, they rather really want to relax and allow you to do it instead of competing with you. No, they become excited and they compete with us. Last okay. season, I think we drew. They, okay. they score first goal and then uh, we equalize at the end of the game. So. It was a tough one, and this season they are looking forward to beat us. <laughs> so it's going to be a, a beautiful one, and then a, a great game. It's a great event, but um, I always say that never forget where you come from. Always remember where you're coming from. Yeah. Because I was scouted by Yike Afani. Yeah. Whilst I was in Brekum. It's your turn to also do so. the same yes. thing. Yeah. So it's it's good to I mean follow his footsteps. Because I believe that when he scouted me, I was able to do well for the nation. That's Yeah, it's yeah. true. So I want to replace that and then tell those young boys that they have freedom to play. They are not in bondage, they are not in prison, that they cannot showcase their talent. So this is all about this um, scouting program. Because from one, you will move to two. Yeah. Everyone needs the perfect snack to munch on during a fun moment. Wow. Enjoy the tasty McBerry Twist Cupcakes, wow. deliciously baked and packaged for a sweet treat. Mm. Premium quality cakes baked with love for all, enriched in butter and milk. Mm, yummy. Oh. McBerry Twist Cupcakes. Simply irresistible. Try one today. This advert is FDA approved. So let's talk about the artificial pitches and then the natural one. How important, because I hear there are more astroturfs being constructed and all that. So I just want to find out how important are they to the sports fraternity? I think they are. Comparing it to the natural ones, allowing the grass to grow and all that. Yeah, we all wish we can have the natural grass. But uh, the country we are in, it will be difficult to maintain the, the grass pitch, uh, which before used to be like that. And then artificial pitch, it's also helping because it's not bad. We have phase one, phase two, phase three. Okay. But uh, what I've observed is the one that, uh, that we are having here in Ghana is two phase, which is very good. The phase one, a bit slippery, is like a, more of a rubber. Yeah. Yeah. But the phase two, phase three is more like the one they use in Russia. Because when you go to Russia or Ukraine, they use more of an artificial pitch because of the weather. Yeah, so for me, I, having more artificial pitch in Ghana will help, especially the, the upcoming players who want to... And then to, the phase two of that? The phase two or phase three, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Phase one is too slippery. Yeah, phase one is, is very, very slippery. And because that one is a bit low. Yeah. And you can't even use uh, the right uh, boots. Then you have to use only the gym boot. Oh, in okay. phase two, you see players using the normal football boots and you're comfortable. Okay. Which I myself, I've been playing on it and I see that it's, it's a good one. Okay. Sami Kufo once criticized the artificial pitches, saying it is not the solution to, solution to Ghana's sports infrastructure. And what, does, what do you make of it? Uh, I think uh, it depends what he see. Uh, for me, the phase three 
when I was in Fulham, I remember one of our Europa Cup. Yeah. We went to Bulgaria and then we play on artificial pitch and it feels like the grass. That's oh, what okay. I'm saying, phase two, they have faces. Yeah, but if uh, Senior is talking about the phase one, then he's right to say the phase one is not right for the development of uh, the young players. But the phase two and phase three, like the normal one we've been seeing recently, it's, it's good for the development. Okay, back to your talents, the people you're scouting for. Which of them are you tipping to become like a world, world football star, like goalkeeper? Yeah, I'm looking at all, all angles because last year we picked five players and there's one player who who stand up uh, called uh, Adoyesum. Yeah, he's from this side, uh, a town called Kapinta. Uh, on your way to Wenji, you, you will see that uh, okay. small town. And he has been very, very good. Uh, every match he played, he scored. Wow. He's only 15 years and he's standing up with the big boys. He's not scared. He changed every ball. Hmm. So uh, he's also going to be part of the stars who will be playing against the selected side uh, oh, okay. this season. So yeah, he's, he's amazing. I'm looking for all around. And like I said, we want to replace uh, some names that I've mentioned before. Uh, we can have another Asamoah here. We can have John Mesa. We can have ACN, myself, John Payne. So, and then those boys who nearly future, they will come and help the nation. How can Ghana win the 2023 AFCON, which will be held in Ivory Coast? Yeah, it's on course. You know, these days, football is dynamic. A lot of countries have also picked up and their preparation and arrangement. And it's how you want it. Uh, you will go for it. And Ghana, looking at it, we have fantastic team. We have players who are playing for a lot of uh, big clubs in Europe and then doing well. World Cup qualifying, how they qualify the nation and going to Qatar, the performances. And then we believe that the sky is the limit. They are, mm -hmm. The boys are pushing and with time, they'll start winning trophies for us. The Nations Cup, I can say Ghana will win, but other, other teams are also preparing. I know, right? Yeah, so <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough one. Yeah. And I believe when we do our things right, prepare the mindset of the players, the players must have a winning mentality. With that winning mentality, you can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. So you take one at a time as it comes. And I believe that we are too close, very, very close to win the, the cup. Ghana will be playing Central African Republic, I think, in the final. Is it possible for Ghana to qualify? Oh, yeah, it's possible. And it's a must qualify. And it's a must win, uh, which the boys are ready. And I don't think they coming this far, they were going to let anything down. Yeah. We believe that... Uh, all the supporters, all people in Ghana who support the team so that they can qualify the nation. What do you make of Mohamed Kudo's move to West Ham? Fantastic move. And I know that uh, West Ham always go for special yeah. ones. West Ham always go for special ones. And then I believe that they also make a good choice by having Kudo's in their team. It's been so long they were looking for a player like that. They used to have Yossi Benayou who was antics, who have the free will, yeah. moving left and right, creating opportunities, free kicks, and then goal scoring abilities. And they have uh, Telly Sharham before, who also was uh, an engine like a Kudus. And then Tevez also came. So after these uh, three players that I've mentioned, they've never had anyone like uh, those players. So having Kudus, I, that reminds me that they will be looking for Kudus for a very long yeah. time. Yeah. So I think it's a good move for both club and then the player. Okay. Thank you very much. But I want your final words to the next region you'll be visiting to scout for talent. Well, um, we are trying to move to Borga uh, in the next uh, uh, scouting program. And I'm looking forward. That's where we can find the players who think they are they are in the bondage, they are in prison, they can't showcase their talents. And I want to urge them that they are not in prison. We are here to give you guys opportunity to establish and then also showcase your talent and then give you freedom to play football. This is John Painter, the CEO and the founder of John Painter Football Academy. And I wish you guys all the best and I'm looking forward to see you all. Thank you. Thank you, John. You're right. And that's it for Sports Check on Ghana Web TV with me, Patricia. Roxanne Hammond. Until, until same time next week, stay blessed.